Look at these two scenes. See the difference? Look again. This is 20 deer per square mile. A natural woodland edge looks like this. Plants grow thick foliage to utilize all existing light, creating a natural leafy wall. Aesthetics, food, and wildlife all remain in balance. This is 220 deer per square mile. A browse line has clipped all vegetation as high as feeding deer can reach. The visual difference is amazing, but more important is the effect on food. Both quality and quantity are severely affected. This is 20 deer per square mile. Bucks are large and robust, often with large racks for their age. Does are big, round, and sleek, and their fawns are large and healthy. Coats are slick and shiny. This is 220 deer per square mile. Bucks living in thin habitat are puny with defined ribs. Racks are small with few points. Does are thin in poor condition and fawns are visibly undersized entering fall. Coats are ragged. When deer are overcrowded, nature is out of balance. It's something you can see. Normally, disease is the final equalizer but that often causes them balance the other way. Hunting is an important and wise use of Kansas renewable wildlife. Through carefully designed seasons, Kansas Wildlife and Parks strives to keep balance in our state's natural resources, just the way things should be. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.